I got a group on that'll get me and four friends 30% off jobs if we show up before service. Completely uncalled for. You have no honor. I got a chub. You got your dance, you smelly old man. No refund. I'm gonna call the Better Business Bureau and tell them you only gave me half a job. We got these guys. You get a couple. Stand back, psychic. I'll take care of this. See the manager if you have any complaints about your last night's experience at the Peppermint Hippo, gentlemen. Adieu. Night out there, be sure to tip your waitresses and maybe buy a drink for the DJ. Next up on the main stage, we've got a little bit of hot sauce coming up your way. Let's give it up for Esmeralda. That's it. The DJ calls the bitches names, and then the bitches come out of that back room. Nugent, we need to find a way to distract the DJ. I got it. Gin and tonics always make my mom pass out. If we can make one and spike it with something really strong, he'll be out for sure. Go make that drink, sidekick. All right, guys, we got a special treat for you on the main stage. Please put your hands together for Destiny. You remind me of a young me. Not now, kid. I got like a quarter cup. What's the legal strip club age? I don't remember. What are you All looking right, guys, at? nobody's That's buying nice. the DJ drink. That's bad strip club manners. I like it like that too. Get out of here, you little shit! Did we run out of alcohol and nobody told the DJ? What's the deal here, guys? Do you think it's close enough to knock the DJ out of commission? Oh god. Oh god. But nothing in this world makes me more angry than fights. It awakens the deep-seated rage that I harbor within me. I wish it didn't have to be dark. But that'll definitely take the DJ out long enough for us to cut off last. All right, someone finally bought the DJ a drink. That's really nice of you. That went down really good. The DJ sure does appreciate it. Ugh. Oh. Oh man, I think someone farted in my drink, guys. I'll be right back. Be sure to tip your winters. Great work, new kid. Wow. All right, guys, put your hands together. Be sure to tip your winters. The things are about to get a little bit hot on the main stage. Please welcome Classic. Uh, that's right, guys. Let's get her on out here. That's Classy with an eye and a little dick to fuck the hell out of the ASS. Give it up for Classy. Hey, what you calling me out for? I ain't on stage yet. Wait a minute, you ain't the DJ. That must be her new kid. Oh shit, it's 5 0. Cops are here. After her. Nobody's allowed back here. Yeah, get lost. Stand aside, ladies. Captain Diabetes and his sidekick need to question that stripper. You want to get to her? You're going to have to go through us. Bring it on. All right, guys, this is your DJ back from the bathroom. Looks like we've got a special treat for you tonight. The two assholes that farted in my drink are about to get fucked in the face by our very own lovely ladies. Check out 
in the ER. She comes to us straight from the Coca Cabana. You know who I mean. A big hand for our luscious Lola. Down. Here comes our favorite flower of fellatio. Give it up for Fuchsia. <laughs> Give it up for Paris. Ooh la la, need I say more yet? No reason for this to get ugly. Now. Hurts, don't it? I put a little extra diabetes in that. Oh, hell no. I ain't getting mixed up in this combat shit. You just want to get to the far end of the room as fast as your little legs can take you there. Hope you'll have some fast attack. Spicier in here, oh, that's why it's Esmeralda. We have to reach the end of the hallway. Something kind of said no match for the power of diabetes. <laughs> and subbing in from the day shift, give it up for Blaze. Hey, can we turn the house lights down just a touch? We can't let her get away, Ty Ty. Who wants the left hand? <laughs> Can't stand up to my crusty sidekick. She can smash a watermelon between her thighs. It's Anastasia. Press on, sidekick. I like you, baby. Well, you want to go and mess with my girlfriend, Claire? Get the cover. It's right in front. Shit from 10 year old John. Oh, you little bastards done fucked up. Go get him, Boote. Look out, ladies and gents. Here comes the queen of quippies, the mistress of BDSM, your dominatrix dream come true. It's spontaneous Boote. Hey, honey, you ain't ready for this Boote. I'm gonna crush you in my booty cheeks. It's Boote time. Fair warning, that ass kills. <laughs> Run now, you may live to brag about this.
on you till your eyes pop out of your head, honey. You don't stand a chance against an ass that size! My turn, bitches. Hide from this bootay, honey. Time, honey. I'm gonna go rest my bootay. Hey, let me in, you asshole. The cops are here. What? Get inside. Go on, scram. I ain't afraid to use this thing. My diabetic rage can't move this sign. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> it's too much. I need my insulin. <laughs> I need my... Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm out of insulin. You got to help me. I drank the apple juice, but I don't have any insulin. I'm going into diabetic shock. I'm... I'm dying. Oh, God. Mom. Mom, I'm dying. Somebody, please. Please. <laughs> This is Coon checking in. How's it going for you guys? Everything cool over there? Cool. Keep me updated. You know what makes my fart super bad? Handcrafted text mix. Text mix. Oh. Ah! Wait a minute. What happened? I thought I died from diabetes. I remember seeing a bright light. The hand of God reaching towards me. Then somebody farted in my face and I was back. I can almost still smell it. Wow, your farts can actually move objects in time. That's impressive. Now let's get back to that stripper. Two friends. We found a female, but she's escaped to the Italian restaurant. Requesting backup. You heard him. All coon friends to the book of the Fagagini. You know what your problem is? You're an alcoholic. <laughs> you didn't. I did. I said, I said, you can't even go a day without scotch, you lush. <laughs> I just don't get how these people can get high every night and feel like it's okay. Oh, I know. It's like clearly you're trying to run away from your problems. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but if you're sticking a cat's ass in your face, you obviously aren't happy with your marriage. <laughs> yes, I think a lot of these druggies do what they do because Would anyone they're like in unhappy relationships. No? Okay. They probably get... There they are! Where's the girl? Why don't you kids just go color on some placemats? Ow! She was just here! You didn't see her come in? Uh, no, we were busy syncing our watches. No, we were looking at menus, 
because Cartman made us order food. Fighting crime on an empty stomach is very dangerous, human cats. It's for your own good. Whatever. She couldn't have left. We would have seen her go out the front door. Well, then maybe she's in the back. Okay, you guys check it out. Call us if you need help. We'll be waiting for you with our breadsticks. Treat them a kitchen like a rinky dink tutorial. All right, stand back. The real superheroes are here now. Tell them what you're made of, butthole. Ooh, pretty sure I can fit your whole body in a stock pot, little shit. The coon will bring you dastardly chefs to justice. Whoa, we're just making the pasta and the scallopini. Ha, these guys are no match for us. I guess we can store your corpses in the walk-in for a good... Your farts are super powerful tools to use in combat. Your new fart power can totally nullify an enemy turn. Your turn is now property of Coon and Friends. Ah, my first battle is a Coon Friend. Uh, it's Coon and Friends, and you are a probationary member, Captain Diabetes. You're gonna clean so many pots and pans for that. I'm gonna turn you into a bracciola that make it the mouth water. This kitchen is about to heat up. <laughs> hey, I only take abuse from the head chef in this kitchen. Learn, newbie. The coon's on deck. The rest of you, try not to die. Oh yeah, this one bleeds real nice. I'm gonna grill you under a brick. Hold still. That ought to break down your collagens. Fuck, I'm dripping all over the place. I'm gonna force feed you corn and harvest your fatty liver. That's tenderizing. Sorry to break up the pizza party. If they touch me again, I'm making you all bus boys. You're about to become just another stain on my apron. <sighs> Check your watch, crime. It's tight time. What a pretty, pretty light show. Okay, let's see what you got, new kid. Balls in your sauce. 
no, 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 Like a like a de de de, de piadina. <laughs> now that's a left-handed spatula. My turn. Then that really hurt. My friends are watching. I'm a sending you home to Mama in the doggy bag. <sighs> Oh, me, oh, mama, I'm like a the lamb to the slaughter. <laughs> you want to put some aloe on that? I'm counting on you, partner. Butthole bashing some butt. Watch this, new kid. I'm gonna do something fucking sweet. Now go tell everyone you cut yourself manscaping. I'm gonna violate your health code. That makes no sense. <laughs> you got screwed. Oh, I'm up. Sorry, I'm a little light hand. <laughs> and let that be your lesson to never underestimate the power of diabetes. Those eye lasers set for defrost or something? Kick up the intensity, human guide. Worry about your own shit, cool. Okay, see you guys later. We're gonna go do some real superhero shit. Trigger my diabetic rage somehow. <laughs> Wait, that's it? Your farts, psychic! Your terrible farts that throw me into fits of rage! Of course! The coon wasn't trying to make me feel insecure when he told me that my mom's farts gave me diabetes. He was trying to help me unlock my true powers! We've got to get through there and get the classy psychic. For the good of South Park. For coon and friends. I need you to fart on my face. Don't be shy. All right, ready when you are. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Go! We did it! The path is clear. It's hard for me to lose control of myself, but if we're ever in a dire situation like that again, Psychic, know that you can fart in my face. sure you're stocked up on heat healing items and have your best artifacts equipped that was a hell of a tip I am not amused hold on psychic sounds like there could be trouble behind that door there's someone in there get ready one two Diabetes! <laughs> See, I told 
you the cops were chasing me. And you led them here, you stupid bitch? Uh-uh. Who you calling a stupid bitch? Do I look like your mama? These kids are cops? That ain't no cop. That's Captain Diabetes. When he was born, his mom fought it during labor, and it gave him diabetes that he uses to fight crime. That is not how people get diabetes. If they aren't cops, then we can shoot them, along with this bitch, too. Oh, shit. Y'all turning on me? I knew I shouldn't have went into business with y'all Tony Soprano-looking motherfuckers. So long. Captain Diabetes. Let's see your diabetes save you now! Uh-oh. Ah! What the? I want my keys! I don't have your keys, man. Ah! He's wasted on red wine. The red wine drunk is the worst drunk there is. Ah! Ah! Let's get the fuck out of here. All right, Captain Diabetes. This is it. Give me fucking keys. You are in no condition to drive. Then die. You're being unreasonable, Mr. March. Let me call your wife. Leave Sharon out of this, you little prick. You messing with the wrong. Drunk. Now, you've done it again, Butt-Lord! I have a really good feeling about this, guys. This might sting. Ah! I feel no pain! You got this! On, Sharon's texting me. I can't type. Why the fuck can't I type? Why are my thumbs so big? Hey Siri, fucking take a note, tell my wife, fuck off, fighting. Poop emoji. Ah! My keys. Guy. Ready for liftoff. Could have done it without you guys, but I'm glad you were here to watch. So satisfying. All right, I'm gonna take a cab. There, nobody drinks and drives on Captain Diabetes' watch. trying to get new high-grade drugs out on the street. It's somebody trying to bring the Italians and Chinese crime families together and shit. Enough small talk. Where is Scrambles? Scrambles? We need this reward money for our superhero franchise. Oh, shit. Y'all just want a cat? 
So then there's Cisco. He just some low-class asshole start working two months ago. He be talking all this shit about making money off the crime in the city because some big shot white boy be running all the drugs and all the hookers and shit, right? Okay. Uh-uh, but not me. I'm my own pimp, you know what I'm saying? It's like I got one investment in this world, and that's my pussy, and I ain't putting no mortgage on that to some high-paying nigga talking about trying to make more money off crime and shit. Classy, classy, I'm sorry, but what what about the cats? Oh, that cats? Okay, that's this little Asian freak named Yakibaba or some shit like that. He going around paying all these little sixth graders to take people's cats. That's fucked up. I think taking that pussy and, like, taking mine, you know what I'm saying? That's like criminal shit. Where do the cats go? I can tell you, but I ain't saying shit until I know I'm safe, you understand? These niggas ain't playing, and I need to know you gonna protect my ass. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cool friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine, fast pass, take her to your house. Okay. And now, the news program that starts your day off right. Good morning, South Park. Good morning, South Park. A new vigilante took to the streets last night and has apparently single-handedly taken down the Famboni crime family. Here with more is a midget in a bikini. Tom, I'm standing outside the Buca de Fagaccini where the vigilante declared war on crime in South Park. Security camera footage showed a young person farting in people's faces on their balls. It was just terrifying. The kid came in and just, just started farting on people. It was out of nowhere, man. Maybe someone's finally standing up to what's wrong with this city. This new kid's a hero. The kid's a menace, if you ask me. How long before he or she kills an innocent person? How long before Daredevil becomes the Punisher? Huh? Three seasons? Three seasons! Police called to the scene found a treasure trove of illegal items that they claim might tie the Italian restaurant to a larger crime syndicate. This may be just the tip of the iceberg. Certainly chilling stuff, and there are reports the vigilante possibly had a sidekick? There was thought to be a sidekick, Tom, but further investigation showed it was just some little twerp with diabetes. Thanks, Midget, and of course, the question on everyone's minds now, who is the farting vigilante? This is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are going to learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians. Or the Chinese. Or the sixth graders. <laughs>